The Illinois Attorney General's Office this week issued a final report on clergy sexual abuse of minors in the six Illinois Catholic dioceses. The report was based on a four and a half year investigation throughout Illinois. I can assure you, the Diocese of Joliet was cooperative and forthcoming with its information and decisions during the entire process. The pages of the report tell a story of pain experienced by innocent individuals because of horrible acts of sexual abuse against minors by clergy in Illinois. Although most of the cases occurred decades ago, many victim survivors remain deeply troubled to this day. As the sixth bishop of the Diocese of Joliet, I am deeply sorry for any failure of the diocese to respond to a claim of abuse with prompt and compassionate attention. I pledge to ensure the diocese continues to follow the safeguards mandated by the Charter for the Protection of Children and Young People adopted by the U.S. bishops in 2002, or what the Catholic Church refers to as the Charter. Know that I pray every day for the continued healing of victim survivors so they may overcome the burden of their pain and move forward in peace. Many of you are probably thinking, I thought this was all over, or I thought this was behind us. But no sin of such great magnitude as this, as the sexual abuse of minors, is over until the damage done to survivors is healed. Remembering the past forces us to remain vigilant in our efforts to ensure that it never happens again. This report offers us the opportunity to highlight the process followed when a report of abuse is received and reiterate the precautions required of all diocesan clergy employees and volunteers who work with minors. There are several things I want to share with you. Our diocese created its first policy on clergy sexual abuse of minors 33 years ago, back in 1990. That was 12 years before the charter was approved. At the same time, it also set up the first special pastoral committee whose responsibilities included responding to those who brought forward reports of sexual abuse, providing support and services to victim survivors and their families, reporting to the proper authorities, and investigating the allegations received. This process led to the establishment of the first Diocesan Review Committee in 1993, which was responsible for investigating all reports of clergy sexual abuse of minors. At the same time, 20 years ago, the role of Victim Assistance Coordinator was created. Our Victim Assistance Coordinator is the professional at our diocese who's available to help victim survivors when they come forward. The Victim Assistance Coordinator listens to victim survivors, walks them through our process, provides outreach and support services, and offers support to victim survivors in making a report to the authorities. With the approval of the Charter in 2002, the Diocese of Joliet continued to follow its mandated blueprint to create a safe environment for children and vulnerable adults in our churches, schools, and activities. Our guidelines provide an avenue for reconciliation, healing, and accountability. The Diocese takes seriously every report brought forth, be it reported by an individual who suffered abuse or a third party. The first steps are always the same. The diocese reports each real-time claim in accordance with the Illinois Abused and Neglected Child Reporting Act and to the local civil authorities. Real-time claims of abuse or neglect of minors are reported to the State Child Welfare Agency, DCFS, and to local law enforcement. Our Victim Assistance Coordinator is made available to listen to 
and talk with the victim survivor and provide outreach and support services. Upon receipt of a report of the sexual abuse of a minor or vulnerable adult by a cleric, the bishop is informed. If the clergy member is in active ministry, he's removed while the investigation is ongoing and advised of his right to counsel. The diocese investigates every report received whether the accused is alive, retired, or deceased. Even if the accused is already listed on the diocese's public list of clergy members with substantiated allegations of sexual abuse of a minor or vulnerable adult, the diocese will still investigate the claim. If public authorities conduct a criminal investigation against the cleric, the diocese defers its own investigation until that criminal inquiry is concluded. The diocese cooperates fully with civil authorities. Following the diocesan investigation, claims against clergy go before the diocesan review board to determine whether the allegation is substantiated. This review board is important. The review board advises the bishop of its determination. Clergy members deemed to have substantiated allegations are permanently removed from ministry and their names and assignments are published on the diocesan public list. When an allegation is found to be unsubstantiated, the cleric is returned to active ministry. What about priests that work in our diocese from another diocese or come from a particular religious order? We call those extern priests. When the diocese receives a claim of sexual abuse of a minor by an extern priest, the bishop of the other diocese or religious superior of the order is notified of the claim. If the priest or religious man or woman is in active ministry in the Diocese of Joliet, their faculties to minister in this diocese are immediately removed. The other diocese or religious order oversees the investigation into the allegation using its own review board process and advises the Diocese of Joliet of the outcome. We invite everyone to view the diocesan list of clergy with substantiated allegations as well as our policies and standards of behavior on the Diocese of Joliet website. Please let me emphasize this. Anyone who knows or suspects that a child has been abused or neglected should report it through the DCFS hotline and to the local police department. I've shared our history and our process for addressing claims of sexual abuse against minors and vulnerable adults. Now, I'd like to share the preventative measures we take to ensure all of our children and vulnerable adults are safe in our parishes, schools, and ministries. Please know that all clergy, employees, catechists, and volunteers in our diocese are required to do the following. Submit to a criminal background check, Create an account with Virtus, a national training program that fights child sexual abuse. Take a training class called Protecting God's Children, offered by Virtus. Understanding the diocese policy regarding sexual abuse of minors and vulnerable adults. Agree to the diocesan standards of behavior for those working with minors and vulnerable adults. In addition, all clergy, parish leaders, and educators are considered mandated reporters under Illinois law. Mandated reporters take required training every three years on how to recognize and report suspicions of child abuse or neglect. Thank you for allowing me to explain our efforts and process in protecting children. As your bishop, I fully commit to do everything possible to keep our children safe and cherished. With humility and sincerity, I offer my prayers of remorse, vigilance, and healing for victim survivors of sexual abuse in the Diocese of Joliet 
and the entire Catholic Church. I ask God to bless you today and always.